Okay guys, mince pies, perfect chocolate pastry and a fantastic filling. Let's do this. Okay, in a bowl then, we want 450 grams of all-purpose flour and we want to add 130 grams of butter and 100 grams of shortening. And then just toss it all over in the flour and get your hands in there and start rubbing it into a breadcrumb type texture. Only takes a few minutes, uh, give it a good rub down and your breadcrumbs will just appear. So this is a, a, a basically my no-fail pastry. It is very, very forgiving. If it's cracked slightly, you can instantly repair it. To our pastry then, we want to add 75 grams of caster sugar, because don't forget we're making a, a sweet short crust pastry. Crack in one egg, add about three tablespoons of cold water, and give it a good mix in you'll find that it does start to come together now when you start this you think oh no it's too wet it can't be right it is right trust me you'll find that this is a no fail pastry very forgiving and then what we want to do then is we want to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and then give it a good mixing in you'll find that this pastry comes together brilliantly it just fold away peel away from the side of the bowl it's perfect There we go, just look at the crumb inside here. Absolutely perfect, no fail pastry every time. Okay, so let it rest for about 10 minutes. Now you could wrap it and put it in the fridge. I'm not going to bother. I'm gonna get on with the mince pies. Now what you need to do, you need to split the pastry into one third, two thirds. Two thirds is for the bottom and one third for the tops. And then we need to flour the surface a little bit of flour on top of our pastry and our rolling pin and give it a roll out now I'm using a muffin tin today so I want to be cutting this out with about a three and a half inch cookie cutter but I'm actually going to turn it over and use the top side of the cookie cutter uh, which will probably be around about four inches uh, to go inside the muffin tin. I like deep mince pies so I'm using a muffin tin. Obviously you can use any tin that you like. So once you've cut it out then put it on your muffin tin and what you need to do you need to be a little bit careful in actually folding it inside the tin now it's very easy to do and if it does tear you know this pastry is absolutely super forgiving and can be repaired immediately as you work it now if you have long fingernails you can roll up um, a, a piece of pastry and just push it down inside so what we need to do then we need to do all our muffin tray with our pastry now don't forget look even mine cracked here it's so forgiving the pastry it's perfect no fail pastry simple to repair every time okay so complete your muffin tray with all your pastry bases and then what we need to do we need to add one tablespoon of our mincemeat now we will fill these about three quarters full because don't forget with our mincemeat it will steam inside the pie when it's cooking 
Now we do not want uh, too much overspill of, on our mince pie lids. So fill it three quarters full and that should be okay. Then what we need to do then, we need to take our one third of pastry and roll that out for our lids. So roll it out to about the same thickness if you made the base. Now I'm just using the cookie, cookie cutter again, but this time the right way around. Dampen the edges with a little bit of water on the base pastry and then press the lids down gently. The, the water is our glue and it will stick the lid perfectly. And then what we need to do, we need to brush it with egg white. Not egg yolk and not a mixture of egg yolk and milk. Egg white. I want to try and keep our pastry lids a lighter colour. Now, yolk will actually make this a, a, a yellowy colour on top. Sprinkle with caster sugar and then we need to cut two vent holes in every lid. Obviously the filling inside will steam uh, and we want to release the steam. And then put it in an oven, a preheated oven and bake at 160 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now we're cooking at low because of the sugar in the pastry. Just look at these pies. Awesome. Perfect short crust pastry. Fantastic filling. Easy recipe. Hope you like it. Don't forget like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Mm. Awesome.